LightJunction.com. Illuminate your world. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Brian here from Light Junction coming to you today with a video of an upgraded JetBeam product. A lot of people are familiar with the DDR rechargeable line they have. And this is kind of an internal overhaul for the DDR26. It has been outfitted with the latest Cree XPL emitter, which bumps up the maximum output to 1100 lumens. So we're going to quick run through the specs in the light, and then I'll show you what you get inside the box, and we'll power it on and see what it does. So 1100 lumens at the high output. Uh, medium output is 200 lumens. The low output is 15 lumens. And it also has a strobe mode, which strobes at 1100 lumens. So a bright strobe there. It's got a 300 meter beam distance. It's impact resistant to 1.5 meters, and it's IPX8 waterproof. This light is rechargeable. You do not get a battery with it in the box, but that can be easily rectified by visiting lightjunction.com, and we will hook you up with any battery that you want. So we'll put the box aside and show you what you get when you purchase this light. Inside the box are JetBeam's warranty card, the all-important certificate of approval. Everybody wants that. Accessory goodie bag. We've got the USB charging cable. We've got two replacement uh, O-rings and a nice jet beam lanyard for the light. The instruction manual, which is pretty short because the DDR26 is a three mode, three primary mode plus strobe operation light, no, not programmable, very easy to operate. So not a whole lot to tell there. And then of course, we'll put all this aside and we'll get to the flashlight itself. So here is the DDR26. The jet beam did not stray very far away from the look of the DDR light. This looks very similar, if not identical, to the original DDR26. Finish is very good on it. You've got your indicator screen to show you what's going on. Your one button to turn the light on and toggle through all the different modes. Uh, nice heat sinks on the side. It's got a semi-deep orange peel reflector. Nice little uh, plated uh, bezel on the front of the light. Um, threaded insert in the back that can be used for kind of a self-defense pick tool that you can buy from JetBeam. Um, or you can thread it into any kind of stand if you're using it as an area light. It will stand on its tail cap, um, but because the tail cap is rounded off at each corner, it's not the most stable tail cap stander, but it'll do in a pinch. Because of the design of the head, it doesn't like to roll, which is good. So if you put the light down on an even surface, it's not going to roll away from you. So we had a up, and here is the charging port on the back. There is no rubber plug for the charging port, which leads us to believe that JetBeam has done all its waterproofing on the inside, which is kind of cool. You don't have a rubber boot to lose when you're out in the field or doing whatever it is you're going to do with this light. So now let's get into the operation. For today's demonstration, I have put in an 18650 battery. And it is one that I had on my desk. It was fully charged. It is not a jet beam battery. It is an all light battery. But it'll still work just fine. So let's power it on. Uh, it's got a momentary on feature. So if you click and just touch the button, press it down for any less than two seconds, you're going to get the high mode. And so you can kind of use this as a, like a tactical operation, just momentary on. Let's press and hold it for more than two seconds. And we turn the light on on high mode. The indicator shows H for high, and then switches over to a number there. So your numbering system, if we can get it in focus. It's not want to focus for me. All right, your numbering system goes zero through nine, and nine being the batteries at a semi-full state of health, uh, zero being you're out of batteries. So whenever the light is on, it's a single click to switch to the next mode. It tells you what mode it's on and then switches over to show the number and the charge status. Now we're at low. And then it switches over to number nine. So we got a full battery health. From anywhere in the modes, if you double tap, you access the high powered strobe mode. And then once you click back off the strobe, it goes back to the light level that you were on. On medium, Instead of saying high, this thing says 
Eve. So there's been kind of a running joke about why didn't they put M for medium in their control. And if you want to see M for medium, turn the light sideways and your E turns into an M. And there you go. That's pretty much it for the operation of the Jetbeam DDR26. Outfitted with the latest Cree XPL emitter, a high output of 1100 lumens, and on low it'll run for almost 70 hours. Rechargeable, good, solid, simple operation light. And this, this, this light's already a pretty popular seller, so we think with the upgrade it'll be even more popular. If you have any questions about this light, don't hesitate to email me, call me, chat with me on the website. Uh, website's www.lightjunction.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. And if there is a light that you would like to see a video for, want to know how it operates, want to know how it looks, want to know how it smells, you can write me and I'll be happy to shoot a video for you. Come pick up one of these lights today while we have them in stock. Have a great day. See you next time.